Outbreaks of Zaire Ebola virus disease, or EVD, have high mortality and morbidity and can lead to worldwide disruption. Two vaccine strategies to prevent EVD have received World Health Organization pre-qualification status and were used in the most recent Ebola outbreaks. One strategy involving a single-dose vaccine has been recommended for use in persons at high risk for exposure during outbreaks. The other is a two-dose regimen, with the vaccines administered 56 days apart, that has recently been recommended for persons who are at some risk for EVD, but not high risk. Questions about both strategies' safety and immunogenicity persist. Two new trials examined the vaccine's safety, as well as the speed and durability of immune responses in children and adults in four West African countries. In these two randomized placebo-controlled trials, approximately 2,800 participants were assigned to one of the following. Add 26 ZEBOV followed by MVA BN Philo 56 days later. A single dose of RVSV Delta G ZEBOV GP followed by placebo. RVSV Delta G ZEBOV GP followed by a booster 56 days later. Or placebo. Overall, no safety concerns emerged. Injection site reactions were most common in the week after injection and occurred more often with the active vaccines than with placebo, among both adults and children. These reactions were largely low-grade. The study's primary immunogenicity endpoint, antibody response by month 12, significantly favored the active vaccines. Among adults, the percentage of responders ranged from 41% to 81% with the active vaccines, as compared with 3% with placebo. Among children, the percentage of responders ranged from 78% to 93%, as compared with 4% with placebo. Differences between the vaccines and placebo emerged by day 14. The authors conclude that in adults and children, the two Ebola vaccine strategies showed no safety concerns and elicited antibody responses by day 14 that continued through month 12. Full trial results are available at NEJM.org.